Did you know that the average human attention span is now just about 8 seconds? That's even shorter than a goldfish. Surprising, right? We live in a world where our minds are constantly jumping from one thing to another, unable to find a moment of stillness. We often wonder why it's so hard for our minds to just sit still. Let's explore this in today's video. In our modern, fast-paced world, it's becoming increasingly difficult to find stillness in our minds. We are always on the move, whether it's juggling work, checking social media, or thinking about our never-ending to-do lists. Our minds feel restless, always wandering, never finding peace. This restlessness isn't just an inconvenience, it affects our ability to focus, our productivity, and even our happiness. So, why does this happen? Why can't our minds sit still? And more importantly, what can we do about it? Today, we'll dive deep into the reasons behind this mental restlessness. We'll explore how our daily habits, stress, and the digital world contribute to this problem. We'll also discuss why mindfulness and finding stillness are essential in overcoming this issue. Let's start by looking at the problem more closely. Think about a typical day. From the moment we wake up, we are surrounded by distractions. We pick up our phones to check notifications, respond to messages, or scroll through social media. We move from one task to another without taking a moment to breathe or pause. This constant switching and multitasking create a sense of busyness that we mistake for productivity. But what happens inside our minds during all this? Our minds become scattered. We find it difficult to focus on one thing for a long time. This is because every time we switch from one task to another, our brains need time to adjust. This adjustment period might seem small, but it adds up, making us feel mentally drained and restless. The impact of technology is another big challenge. We live in an age of information overload. We receive more information in a single day than our ancestors did in their entire lives. Our brains are not designed to handle so much input. When we constantly consume information, especially from digital devices, our brains become overstimulated. This overstimulation creates a sense of restlessness and makes it difficult for us to focus on one thing for long. Now, let's explore some of the psychological and neurological reasons behind our racing thoughts. One of the main reasons is stress. When we are stressed, our minds go into overdrive. We keep thinking about the future or worrying about the past. This constant worry keeps our minds from being in the present moment. It becomes a loop that feeds on itself. Worry leads to more worry, and our minds can't find peace. Another reason is multitasking. We often think that doing multiple things at once makes us more productive. But the truth is, our brains are not built for multitasking. When we try to do more than one thing at a time, we end up not doing any of them well. This constant switching between tasks creates mental fatigue, leading to more restlessness. Moreover, we have the problem of digital overload. With smartphones, computers and TVs, we are always consuming information. Whether it's news, social media updates or videos, we are constantly bombarded with new content. Our brains need time to process this information, but we rarely give it a break. This non-stop input keeps our minds active even when we want to rest. Our environment also plays a big role. In today's world, everything is fast-paced. We have fast food, fast internet, fast delivery. Everything is about speed. This need for speed affects our thinking. We want quick solutions and immediate results, but this makes our minds impatient. When things don't go as planned or take longer than expected, we become restless. Another factor is the fear of missing out, or FOMO. Social media has made it easier for us to see what everyone else is doing. When we see people achieving more, going on trips, or living seemingly perfect lives, 
we feel like we are missing out. This feeling creates anxiety and restlessness in our minds. Finally, our mind has a natural tendency to wander. Even when we are not distracted by technology or stress, our thoughts naturally drift. This is because the mind is like a monkey that keeps jumping from one branch to another. Without training or control, it doesn't know how to sit still. So, what can we do to calm our restless minds? The answer lies in finding stillness within. One powerful way to achieve this is through mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment, fully aware of what is happening without being overly reactive or overwhelmed by it. It's about bringing our minds back from the past or the future and focusing on the now. Mindfulness has been practiced for thousands of years and has been proven to reduce stress, improve concentration and increase overall well-being. When we practice mindfulness, we train our minds to focus on one thing at a time, allowing us to find a sense of peace and clarity that is often missing in our fast-paced lives. Here's a simple yet powerful insight. Mindfulness helps us become the observer of our thoughts rather than being controlled by them. Imagine watching your thoughts like you would watch clouds passing in the sky. You see them come and go, but you don't need to chase after them or hold on to them. When we start observing our thoughts instead of reacting to them, we create a space between our thoughts and our responses. This space allows us to choose how we want to respond rather than react impulsively. Think about it like this. Just as our bodies need rest to recharge, our minds also need a moment of stillness. Practicing mindfulness is like giving your mind a mini vacation from all the chaos. It doesn't have to be complicated. Even a few minutes of mindful breathing, where you focus only on your breath going in and out, can help bring your mind to a state of calm. I remember a story shared by a wise monk. He once asked his students to imagine holding a glass of muddy water. When you shake the glass, the water becomes cloudy and unclear. But when you set it down and leave it still, the mud settles and the water becomes clear. Our minds are like that glass of water. When we are constantly shaken by distractions and stress, our minds become cloudy. But when we practice stillness and mindfulness, our minds become clear. To sum up, the reason why our minds can't sit still is because of several factors. Constant distractions, multitasking, stress, digital overload, and even the natural tendency of our minds to wander. These elements create a state of mental restlessness that affects our focus, productivity, and overall peace of mind. However, understanding these factors is the first step toward addressing them. By recognizing what makes our minds restless, we can take conscious steps to counteract these effects. Practices like mindfulness, taking breaks from digital devices, reducing multitasking, and managing stress can help bring back a sense of calm and control to our minds. Remember, a restless mind is not something we have to live with. We have the power to train our minds, just as we train our bodies. By practicing mindfulness and being present in the moment, we can learn to let go of unnecessary thoughts and focus on what truly matters. Now, I would love to hear from you. Have you ever felt like your mind just can't sit still? What do you think is the biggest cause of mental restlessness in your life? Share your experiences in the comments below. Your story might help someone else who is struggling with the same issue. If this video gets a good response, I will create another video on simple mindfulness practices for beginners, where I will share practical tips you can start using today to bring more peace and clarity to your mind. So, don't forget to like, comment and share if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Artist at Living for more videos on mindful living and spiritual awakening. Stay calm, stay mindful, and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.